What is the craziest thing that's ever happened to you? I went in for a routine goiter removal surgery. The surgeon only removed my right side of the thyroid BC. He said I was young enough and didn't want me to take thyroid meds for the rest of my life. At the post-op appointment, the biopsy comes back and it's cancer. The surgeon immediately scheduled surgery to remove the other side of the thyroid. Post-op of that surgery showed a different cancer growing. I basically had two surgeries within eight days and two different cancers at the same time. Due to the trauma of surgeries and radiation treatments, my vocal cords became paralyzed. I had to go to speech therapy for almost nine months to learn how to speak and swallow again. The ironic thing is, I had a biopsy done about six weeks before the goiter surgery. The doctor took multiple samples at different levels of my thyroid. Apparently she missed both cancers. If it had been caught in the biopsy, I wouldn't need multiple surgeries which lead to the trauma, voice loss, trouble swallowing etc. I was working a front desk job at a small office in a strip mall. A car pulled up, went over the curb, through the window, and hit the desk as I was sitting there. My biological father, who I had never met and had lost track of my mom's contact info, found me on MySpace out of the blue. We met IRL, kept up visits, letters, emails for 14 years, and he got to meet his grandchildren. He and my parents had a great relationship too and would hang out together. I lost him in March. I can't believe he found me. But more importantly I can't believe I got 14 years to spend with him. I opened my wallet to show my friends I had no monies, and a moth flew out of it. In 2013 I received a notice from my college that my low GPA from the previous semester made me ineligible for financial aid the following semester. It was my last term in grad school and the college was threatening to drop me from all classes if I didn't pay tuition within 72 hours. I went to drown my sorrows at a bar later that night and I met a stranger and we started talking. I told her my story and she offered to pay my tuition. I told her I didn't accept loans from strangers but she said it was a gift. Turns out she was a very wealthy CEO and that night she wrote me a check for $2,500. I paid my tuition, finished school, and we still keep in touch. My date and I got stuck at the top of a Ferris wheel for nearly three hours when the ride's mechanism failed. It was a very tall wheel, and she was afraid of heights. So, those hours in the Ferris wheel car together seemed like eternity. I was in a coffee shop in Austria called The Pharmacy. I asked for the toilet and the old man behind the counter told me to go downstairs and to use the door that said, do not enter. I done what I was told but found I was trapped in the darksome storage room. Fearing it was a fritzel room I switched on my phone light and noticed a ladder. So I climbed up it. At the top I exited a hatch and was surrounded by horses. Very expensive looking horses. I'd come up in the stables of the Vienna Spanish Riding School. Had to exit through the riding ring. In college, I was chilling with some friends, doing homework and hanging out. When I got an email from my grandma, she had been really into genealogy lately, and had found some distant branches of the family tree. She was letting me know she discovered that I had a third cousin who attended the same college as me. Well, not only did I know the guy, he was actually sitting right beside me as I read the email. I jumped up and shouted, dude you're my cousin. And that's how the guy one chair over got upgraded from friend to family in two seconds flat. Edit. Somebody who was there that day just sent me an award. With proof. Looks like the anonymity of my Reddit account has been compromised. Time to burn it all down I guess. When I was seven years old I got picked out of over a 100 dancers to dance with Mariah Carey on stage. 
At her concert, it was definitely crazy but also one of the coolest things that ever happened to me. I played poker once with Chris O'Donnell in a skeevy riverboat casino in Illinois. I got dealt a straight flush and won a $5,000 instant bonus for it. It was an otherwise low stakes table. The worst part is that I had no clue who Chris O'Donnell was. When you hit a bonus like that, they close the table for a few minutes to review the video and make sure you didn't pop an ace out of your sleeve. Chris left the table and immediately everybody started talking about him and completely ignored my gorgeous straight flush that was still sitting on the table. Ah well, I got paid. Still the only time to this day I've won any kind of remotely material amount in a casino. There was a huge housefly annoying me in the kitchen. I had already chased it around with a fly swatter to no avail. I was drying the dishes and decided to try and flick it with the towel. Not expecting at all to hit it. There was a sharp crack and the fly just exploded. The tip meeting it perfectly in midair. I saw the tiny wings separately fluttering down to the ground like helicoptering tree seeds. No one else was there to see it of course. Lost a pair of earrings four years ago. Looked everywhere for them and couldn't find anything. While moving to a different apartment I tried looking for them again in every item of cloth. Absolutely nothing. Point four years later I'm already after two apartments. And I suddenly step on something that was on the carpet. It was one of the earrings. I have no idea how it got to the carpet in the middle of the room. And why after three months of me living here. There is no logical explanation for this. Can't find its pair though. I was falsely accused of conspiring to commit a school shooting in year 11 and the armed police got involved. Rumors spread. Kids were afraid to come into school and I had to do my exams separately from everyone else because I was deemed a threat. I live in England too. This was back in mid-2017. What a time that was. I moved away from home when I was 20. I started working for a company that had several locations around the city. One day I just happened to be walking past one of the locations that I didn't work at because I was going to an eye appointment. Right as I was walking by, a guy the first knew from that other location walks out the door and tells me that my mom is on the phone. She was desperately trying to get in touch with me because my grandfather had died. She knew the name of the company I worked for but didn't know which location I worked at. So she got an operator to connect her with one of the locations at random. The guy the first knew said he was on the phone with her and was just starting to explain that I didn't work at that location when he looked out the window and saw me walking by. I was sitting outside with my friend and he was twirling his double-bladed pocket knife. This thing was big too. It slipped out of his hand and flew straight towards me. The handle, between the blades, hit me in the head. But not a single part of the blade touched me. I'm not sure how that happened. Several lightning strikes on my houses. Like five. I have been to many experts. Thought with the first house that perhaps there was a physical reason. Now that the second house has also been hit decided I pissed off Thor. I had the lower bunk of a set of bunk beds. I was about three to four years old at the time. And I woke up and ran to my parents' room just minutes before the top bunk smashed down on my lower bunk. We all ran in and found my older sister sitting up on the upper bunk as it lay on my lower bunk. Crying but otherwise fine. I don't know that it could have killed me. I kind of doubt it would have been that bad, but it definitely would have hurt me if I'd still been there when it crashed. Had a fever in the hospital. 107.8 Just happened to me last month. I bought an old pop-up camper from Craigslist and my fiancé and I wanted to fix it up to make memories with our three-year-old. 
We started repairing some tears in the canvas. Ordered new cushions for the dinette and I built a table to replace the original. We were set to do our first camping trip and I wanted and I wanted to make sure the stove and furnace were working properly before we went. The original seller said they worked. I followed the furnace lighting instructions. Turned the propane on and tried to light the pilot nothing happened. I waited a few minutes and tried again. As soon as the lighter ignited I was engulfed in a fireball the whole neighborhood heard. I had third degree burns to my face hands and feet. I turned the garden hose on my body till the ambulance came as my skin was peeling and blistering. Off my body. It was quite a spectacle. I spent the next three weeks in the burn unit. The same one Anne Hesch was at. I'm relieved I didn't die and that my daughter was safely sleeping upstairs. Also mostly minimal scarring. As a bonus I'll be Deadpool for Halloween this year so I got that going for me which is nice. I was in Hawaii for the missile strike turned false alarm. It was a movie scene. Full grown men with families asking me what to do. People running in from the beach screaming. Screeching tires. Terrifying. HTTPS. i.imager.com slash sud2fdh.jpg. Edit spelling. If you enjoyed this video, please check out our playlists full of similar content. Epic Heracast is like doom scrolling for your ears. Please like, share, and subscribe.